What is a perforated viscous an organ with an abnormal opening often is referred to as a perforated viscous Viscous technically means a hollow organ found inside the body Examples of these hollow organs mostly are found in the chest and abdomen such as the stomach appendix intestines spleen gallbladder and urinary bladder the term viscous is a singular form often used in referring to only one organ involved its plural term viscera generally is used to denote the involvement of many organs hollow organs often have several layers of cells in their walls in order to hold materials inside food materials consumed during meals and some acids used in digestion typically are found in the stomach Digested food and waste materials to be excreted out of the body usually are found in the intestine. The gallbladder generally contains bile and bile acids and the urinary bladder is mostly a storage site for urine before it is passed out of the body. Filling of these materials inside the abdomen usually happens in the presence of a perforated abdominal viscus. These materials often are toxic inside the body cavity and can place the life of a patient in danger. Bacteria often reach the blood system in most of these cases. Thus immediate medical attention and effective treatment generally are needed in such situations. A hollow viscous perforation can occur in many instances. Blunt abdominal trauma such as those that often happen in road accidents can lead to the perforation of the spleen and other organs. Penetrating abdominal trauma often can reach important organs like the intestines and stomach as seen in those caused by gunshots and stab wounds. Infection sometimes can lead to viscous perforation such as those that occur in a ruptured appendix, ruptured gallbladder. and as a complication of typhoid fever perforated viscous symptoms generally range from moderate to severe manifestation they mostly include fever low blood pressure fast heart rate abdominal pain nausea vomiting and abdominal distension patients mostly are in severe pain with their abdomen feeling rigid or bored like when touched when prompt treatment for a perforated viscous is not given Patients often develop complications that can be life threatening. Open surgery generally is the standard management for a perforated viscous. The use of laparoscopy, which also is known as minimally invasive surgery, also has been utilized with some patients. The nature of treatment often depends on the cause of the perforated viscous and its location among numerous other considerations.